So surprisingly, one of the easiest ways to improve your forehand is actually to improve your finish. Now, you might be thinking, Ryan, how can the finish have any bearing on what the ball does? The ball's already gone. Well, in order to finish in a certain way, you have to be doing something during the contact, and that's what's going to affect the shot. I want you to notice this forehand by Dominic Team. Look how he's finishing. Notice right here, he's catching the racket, yes, with his left hand, but notice how his racket is actually finishing on edge. Because his racket's finishing on edge with the strings facing off to the side, you could actually balance a coin on the edge of the racket. By finishing that way, what he's actually doing is ensuring consistency. So watch me hit these balls and watch how when I'm done, I'm gonna finish with my racket straight up and down in my left hand. My goal when I'm done is that my racket is straight up and down and I could balance a coin on the edge of my racket. What I'm gonna try to do is not hit <laughs> any balls cross court, because I don't wanna hit the balls into the court next to me as those guys are playing a match right now. So I'm just gonna hit straight ahead. My goal is to finish on its edge. And don't forget, if you're looking for new people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you, make sure you use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis to get 50% off when you join. So here's a really easy way to think of this. When you're striking a forehand, the top edge becomes the bottom edge. The top edge at contact flips and now becomes the bottom edge. When you do that, you have the right amount of wrist movement. You see a lot of players when they hit the ball, they'll hit and they'll point their strings up at the sky. Or they'll hit the ball and they'll flick the wrist and now their strings are pointing down. Again, you could place a ball, let me do it this way, you can place a ball on the, the strings, which I don't want you to do. I actually want you to finish with your racket on its edge. Dominic Team is an absolutely perfect model for that. Go out and film yourself. Here I am, I just had a local a school near me and I just popped out here to make a quick video. Just go out and film yourself hitting forehands. Review the footage and see if you can finish with your racket straight up and down on edge. I'm willing to bet if you film yourself, notice that you're not doing that, and then you start doing that on purpose, just like Dominic Team. there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2 You got this.